we all cope in different ways. <laughs> hey, hey, hey guys, get my face out of here. Hey, I'm also General Z back here again. The Vikings got have their new offensive uh, offensive coordinator. It's really hard to talk with this thing on my face. Philip the Flippo, the Eagles X quarterback coach who I am very excited for. We have to see how good he is at play calling. He has not been offensive coordinator before, but as quarterback coach with the Vikings have needed for a long time, if he's as good as advertised, last year pretty much coached up two MVPs. His quarterbacks that started most of the season, Carson Wentz, would have been MVP if he didn't tear his ACL late in the year, and Nick Foles was Super Bowl MVP. So, you're talking about a resume right off the bat, that, of course, it's just one year, so let's just hope it's not a fluke, maybe Wentz had a ton of talent, and Nick Foles had a ton of talent, and he was just kind of a guy that was there, but, let's hope he took some nobody from whatever South Dakota, North Dakota, that Wentz is from, and Nick Foles, a guy that was just on the Rams and was awful there, and now, turn him into studs. Now, what does this mean going forward for the Vikings quarterback decision? Well, maybe Nick Foles. Now, I really don't want to give a lot for Nick Foles, and I think Nick Foles would be right around the market of Jimmy Garoppolo right now. Now, of course, Jim, uh, Nick Foles has one year left on his contract. If I'm with the Eagles, I'd 100% want to keep Foles until a trade deadline next year, or, or at least until Wentz is completely healthy. Because since Wentz tore his ACL so late into the season, there's a really good chance that Wentz won't be healthy until maybe week three, four, something like that. So he'll need a few starts, and Nick Foles would be their best option since he's already on the roster. He's been great the last couple of game games, and if he can take a step right where he was this year and bring it to next year, they can still start out 3-0 without Carson Wentz. But if our boy DeFlippo is the whole reason he was good, then maybe they can regress a little bit and he can turn Teddy Bridgewater or maybe Nick Foles, maybe Kirk Cousins and do a really good quarterback and to take them and elevate their level. Those quarterbacks I listed are already pretty good and they can take it to the next level if he is as good as we really hope he is. But hopefully, this is a turning point not only for the 2018 Minnesota Vikings, but maybe a franchise. A franchise has been without a good franchise quarterback in a really, really long time. Like I said in my uh, Vikings quarterback of future video, the Vikings last uh, franchise quarterback by any means was Dante Culpepper. And as I said, kind of said, franchise quarterback was over five years, I believe. So that's not even a whole lot to begin with. But at least that's more than what we've had. Hopefully Teddy can take that step and get healthy, be that guy. If you guys want to know why he's the best quarterback that we have on the roster statistically, check out this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope to flip out.